Welcome to the video where I cheat in Portal RTX to see how far we can push the ray tracing. Fun fact, using this airboat spawning command doesn't require cheats to be on, but anybody who dares say that this isn't cheating is not to be trusted and should be slapped very hard with the wettest fish you can find because it's very clearly cheating. End of. Now, this was the part where I was going to say how awesome ray tracing is and how it can still light all this unexpected stuff properly, but then a rogue airboat shot through the glass and jogged this light right here, breaking the very first light that we see in the game. It may take you a moment to see what's wrong with it, but this isn't how lights work. No, this first light is an imposter. What a great start. If the makers of this mod had given the light bulb itself an emissive material, then this light could have lit the room but they were lazy, placing an invisible light directly underneath the model instead. So it's still proper ray trace lighting, but just from an invisible light source, instead of from the model of the light itself. You can even see the shadow of the light's bulb here, which isn't something you should ever see. Imagine if our sun cast its own shadow and how silly that would look. You'd have like night, eclipses, and then solar sleepy shadow time or something like that where all sorts of weird things happened. Let's not think about that. Let's get back to Portal RTX. Here, have some more fun with the cheat code IMPULSE101, which spawns all of the weapons from Half-Life 2, which, like the airboats, show up in Portal looking like they did in Half-Life 2. The view model has changed a bit for this game, which throws off some of their positions on the screen, but they're still there somewhere and can still be used as they would in Half-Life 2. So, let's see what Portal RTX is like with cheats. Our protagonist holds her weapons in an unconventional yet highly effective manner. We can check this out using these ray trace shadows, just here, and if I look down then I can see these physically rendered, low res, floating weapons protruding from my crotch, just as nature intended. All of this is broken because it was never intended to be used in Portal, and the assets themselves look bad because they weren't given graphical overhauls by the Nvidia team who worked on this RTX mod. They rather short-sightedly didn't anticipate for players to fill these test chambers with vehicles. But what they did do was to feature their own cheat codes. But how do we find these in Portal? I went on an epic quest to find every secret area in Portal, no clipping through the walls to ensure that no hidden areas escaped my gaze. Hello again. While doing this, I discovered that if you put portals on the outside walls, you get teleported back out into the darkness again. Not now, Fluffykins! So if you put one on the outside of the level and one on the inside, you get a very scary portal indeed. Don't go through there. It surprised me just how far through the game these secret areas started, since whenever I've played it for real and discovered my first one, I'm suddenly reminded that these things exist and assume, being a slow-witted individual, that I must have missed the first dozen or so of them. But no, this is the first one I could find, even using cheats. And hidden on the floor was this, a GeForce 1490. That's nothing special to people who have been paying attention since there's one in the very first room. But right next to it is this QR code. And if I scan it, I get this. Entering that into the cheat menu, it activates this, which turns all the cubes in the game into life-sized GeForce 4090s, complete with the GPU's die and encased in nice reflective glass, some large fans, and two of the new power connectors. I'm scared. It also doubles as an emissive green material, so placing enough of these in a certain area is enough to transform the colour scheme into a lime green, or at least meeting the environment halfway with a murky brown. Let's see which other cheats we can uncover. The next secret area had all kinds of goodies, like a newspaper talking about the graphics card shortage, and these cameras containing a reverse QR code. But my scanner still worked on it, revealing the code Omniverse Kit, which transforms the cubes into cameras. It isn't such a radical makeover, and something about this crumpled metallic gut-like material makes me feel very uneasy. I figured that going inside it would show off a load of cool lenses to distort the environment, but I was disappointed to see there was nothing to see. The next secret area I found was one just through here. And right next to this GeForce 4090 is a code, which is exactly the same code as the one next to the 4090 found earlier. What a shame. But wait! This source pan is being heated by a computer. I noticed they didn't include an NVIDIA graphics card in this one. But what they did include was an NVIDIA QR code. This one scans as Bridge and turns companion cubes into a digital, glowy version. And the next secret code I found was inside this turret. This one scans as fully path traced and turns cubes into lenses. This is, in my opinion, one of the best showcases of what ray tracing can do. Computers hate this one simple trick. What are you doing? Stop it. Hi, 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 hi
Next I tried lining up a few of these lenses next to each other to see how complex I could make the path tracing calculations. Problem is, I don't know what it's supposed to look like when you line up three lenses like this next to each other. It doesn't look like it's reaching through to the other side, but then looking through them the other way, it still appears to show the portal on the other side, but in a super skewy way. So maybe it is working. I tried going into the advanced settings and moved all the sliders about in ways I didn't fully understand, and by some small miracle, it didn't crash the game. The coolest thing I found was to disable the denoiser, which shows you the millions of rays that are hitting your screen every second. You're not going to see this too well on YouTube, but this is what ray tracing is all about, and why I thought it would be so many more years before we'd see this sort of thing in games. Because I thought we'd need to fire so many rays a second that this would need to look perfect. But it's all thanks to the power of denoisers and cumulative rays that we've got ray traced games as soon as we have done. So yeah, the other options didn't seem to do too much to change the look of things. So I stopped trying to be scientific and just dumped dozens of lens cubes into the fire for the ultimate ray tracing challenge. And while my PC started slowing down, I think that's less about the ray tracing and more about Source's decades old physics engine bugging out. But this is it people, this is what peak ray tracing looks like. Take it all in, taste the future, and if you smell something weird then go and check, because something similar might be going on inside your own PC.